Hi there, it's Jen from ModernMedicineLady.com and the Empathic Woman System. And with everything that is going on right now, particularly with the Dakota Access Pipeline, I figured that while I can, I'm, I'm not going to get myself out to Standing Rock, what I can do is I can send energy and I can offer support. And I, I personally believe that in the midst of craziness, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of suffering, one of the things that we can do is we can offer love, we can offer light, we can offer healing, we can offer energy, and we can also offer a calming, soothing energy that is going to allow the people who are standing withstanding rock and who are out protecting the water and helping the water protectors to remain calm, to remain grounded, to remain focused, even though there is a lot of stuff happening. And the way that I think of it is that there is a way that we can imagine ourselves as the eye in the storm, that there can be a whole lot of chaos moving around us, but that we can hold, when we hold our center and we hold that energy, we have the ability to hold that space. And so for any of you who are here with me right now, if you'd like to join along, what I wanna do is just really help people and send that, that calming, soothing, grounded energy that allows people to endure and to stand strong despite the cruelty, despite the insanity, despite the, the, the fear, despite everything that is happening there because it really is a scary situation and the people who are putting their lives and their, their bodies and their hearts and their souls on the line by being out there are really going through a lot. And what we can do for those of us who are not there, there's a few things we can do. One is that we can donate our money. We can donate our money to the medic and healers camps, encampments, and I have links on my page for that so that we can contribute to medical supplies to help when people have been harmed by rubber bullets and concussion grenades and also by the water cannons. So we can contribute in that way. We can also contribute to, um, to building winter structures and donating money. If you have friends who are going out to Standing Rock, who are gonna be standing up there, you can donate money for gas, for tolls, for other things to help people to get there so that as many bodies as can be are putting themselves on the line and stopping this from happening. And also, you can call your congressman, you can call President Obama, you can call Vice President Joe Biden, and you can say, this is not acceptable, I will not tolerate it as a U.S. citizen, this treatment of other citizens of the United States is not okay. And so you can take that kind of action. So you can put your money where your mouth is, and you can put your mouth where your mouth is, and you can speak out by calling your congressman, by calling your senators, by calling our president, by calling our vice president, as well as following and calling the local numbers in for, around the Dakota Access and basically saying, this is not acceptable, this is not okay. And again, I've posted numbers for people to call because... I don't know about you, but I know that that you know it it's one thing to see it, to know about it, but it's another thing to make the decision to take action. And that's what needs to happen right now is that taking action is really important. And on top of that, being able to use our energy to focus and send love, to send healing, to send calmness, to send gentleness. This is what I know I can do. So, I imagine if you're watching this and you are jumping on with me, 
probably you've been seeing things on your Facebook feed about what's happening at the Dakota Access Pipeline and that you have been seeing what's happening at Standing Rock and you know that it is crazy there and that there's just a lot of intensity and there's a lot of suffering and there's a lot of difficulty. Basically, it's kind of like a, a spiritual storm. So without further ado, I want to do some tapping and I invite you to join along with me and just what we're going to do is we're basically acting as surrogates. So what we're doing is we are acting on behalf of the energy at Standing Rock, on behalf of the people who are there and who are going through what they're going through, and we are just sending soothing, calming, peaceful energy to that place and to that situation. So even though this situation is really intense, and there is so much going on, and there is so much confusion, and so much suffering, and there is pain, and all kinds of emotions. I choose to breathe. I choose to come back to my center. I choose to find the calmness and ease within me. and love and accept myself and send love to this whole situation. So even though this situation is incredibly challenging and there is so much going on and there are so many people who have gotten hurt and it is painful, and it is sad. I am breathing, and I am focusing on being the calm in the eye of the storm. I breathe into my center. I breathe into my core and I send it back out around me. And I love and accept myself exactly as I am. And I acknowledge the situation for what it is. And I send it love. So even though there is so much going on and it's hard to see and it is intense and there is so much happening and there are a lot of people who are feeling pain and there's a lot of struggle. I'm acknowledging it. I'm witnessing it. And I am standing my ground. And I am holding my center. And I recognize that I can be the calm in the eye of the storm that even with all of the chaos that is swirling around me, I can let myself relax. I can let myself breathe. I can love and accept myself. And I can acknowledge that it is what it is. I can acknowledge how hard it is and I can love myself anyway and I can love this situation anyway. Oh. 
all of the intensity, all of the suffering, everything that is going on all around me, everything that I'm witnessing, all of the sadness, all of the pain, all of the chaos, all of the struggle, witnessing this and feeling the intensity and feeling all the feelings within my own heart. <sighs> feeling my own grief, my own despair, my own fear as I witness this suffering and breathing anyway, choosing to remain calm anyway, breathing into my center, breathing in to my core, breathing in to the light within me and letting myself be calm even with the chaos that swirls around me. Breathing into my core and breathing into the calm within and letting that calmness be even with the chaos that swirls around me. Acknowledging the chaos that swirls around me. Acknowledging the intensity that is around me. Finding my center and holding this space. I breathe into my core I breathe into the light. I hold this space. And like the eye of the storm, all this intensity, it swirls around me and I send my roots down. I send my roots down deep into the earth and I stand. Standing my roots down deep into the earth and I stand. Feeling my anchors and my roots going down. Feeling my body standing on this earth, feeling myself anchored to the ground, feeling myself connected to the earth, letting gravity hold me and support me. Letting the magnetic pull, the connection between me and this earth hold me to this ground as I stand with Standing Rock. Standing with Standing Rock and letting the energy of all of it swirl around me. Standing with Standing Rock and breathing in love. Standing with Standing Rock and breathing in love. Standing with Standing Rock and holding that core of calmness within as I send my roots down. I send my roots down into the ground. 
I breathe in calmness and I send my roots down. I breathe in love and healing and I send my roots down. I am anchored to this earth and I send my roots down. The chaos swirls around me and I send my roots down. I breathe into my core and I find the calmness within me. I breathe out and send my roots down. You're welcome, Lacey. I breathe in the calmness within me and I send my roots down. I breathe into the love within my core for all these beings of the earth, all my relations, and I send my roots down. Breathing in calmness and breathing out healing and love. Breathing in calmness and breathing out healing and love. I send my roots down and the chaos swirls around me. I send my roots down and I breathe in love. I breathe in calmness. I breathe in intensity and I breathe it back and I transmute it in my heart. I hold it and I love it and I send my roots down. I breathe in calmness. I breathe in peace. Send my roots down and I let the intensity swirl around me. I remember the calmness within me. I breathe into my heart and I put my hand on my heart and I breathe into it. Breathing in the calmness, breathing out the love and the peace. I send my roots down. Breathing in the gentleness and breathing out the fear. Breathing in the gentleness and breathing down through my roots into the ground. I send my roots down. Breathing into my core, breathing into my heart, breathing into my very center, breathing in, and I send my roots down. I stand with all my relations, and I send love. I stand with all my relations, my two-legged brothers and sisters, my brown brothers, my, my golden brothers, my white brothers, my black brothers, all my rainbow brothers. I send love and I send my roots down. And I send love to all the four-leggeds, all my brothers and sisters with four legs. And I send my roots down, extending love, starting in my heart, 
as I send my roots down. Feeling the love within my heart and feeling myself standing rooted on the ground. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. Loving all of the tree people and the plant people and the winged creatures and the finned creatures and sending my roots down. I breathe in love and I send it out around me, letting my love ripple in rings out beyond me, letting my love ripple through the chaos, through the intensity of this storm and sending it further out around me. I send my roots down and I breathe in love. I send my roots down and I breathe in love and healing. Compassion for all my relations, for all the beings at Standing Rock. May those whose hearts are closed awaken. May those who are scared find hope. May those who are feeling pain feel relief. As I breathe in love and I send it out around me. As I breathe in healing and I send it out around me. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. I breathe in healing. I breathe in love and I send my roots down. I breathe in calmness and I breathe into my core. Finding my center, finding my ease, feeling myself standing on this earth. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. I stand with Standing Rock. And I breathe out the stress. I stand with Standing Rock. And even with all the pain, even with all the suffering, all that I witness, I acknowledge and I breathe. Acknowledging the suffering and breathing love into my core. Acknowledging the intensity and letting it go like a storm that swirls around me. I acknowledge it and I hold fast. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. I stand with Standing Rock and I hold my center. I am calm in the eye of the storm. I stand with Standing Rock. And I send love to all my relations. I stand with Standing Rock. And I send my roots down. I breathe in calm and I 
send it out around me. I breathe in peace and I send it out around me. I breathe in compassion and I let it ripple out around me. I breathe in love and I send it out around me. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. I breathe in calmness and acknowledge the energy that swirls around. I hold my center. I hold my space and I send my roots down. I hold my center. I hold my space and I send my roots down. I stand with Standing Rock and I hold my center. I hold my space and I send my roots down. <sighs> breathing in calmness, breathing in peace. I breathe it out around me and hold my center in the eye of the storm. Breathing in calmness, Breathing in peace, I hold my center in the eye of the storm. Breathing in calmness and breathing in peace, I hold my center in the eye of the, st of the storm. Breathing in love, and breathing in calmness. I hold my center in the eye of the storm. I stand with Standing Rock. I send love and I send my roots down. I stand with Standing Rock and I send love and I send my roots down. I breathe in love and I send it back out. Just breathing in love and sending it back out. Sending my roots down and breathing in calmness. Breathing the calmness back out and sending it to Standing Rock. I hold my ground. I hold my center. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. I am the calm in the midst of the storm. My heart is love and I send this around me, breathing in ease, breathing in gentleness, breathing in compassion for all my relations, for all beings of this earth. I breathe in and I send the love out beyond me. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. Breathing in love and sending my roots down breathing in calmness. I am the calm in the eye of the storm. 
I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. I breathe in love. I breathe in calmness. I breathe in peace. I send my roots down. I am the calm in the center of the eye of the storm. Take a moment and close your eyes and breathe into the love and the light within your heart. Healing yourself, sending your roots down into the ground like a beacon that is anchored deep into the very heart of the earth, breathing light into your heart. And as you breathe out, see rings of love and rings of calmness and rings of light extending out. We create a web of light. We create a web of love. We create a web of calmness that goes out, that ripples across this whole planet. And as we stand with Standing Rock, we are the light, we are the love, we are the calmness in the eye of the storm. I stand with Standing Rock and I send my roots down. I fill my heart with love fill my heart with light and I send my roots down. I send this love beyond me. I send this love around me. And as we are all one, this calmness is part of Standing Rock. This calmness ripples beyond me, ripples across this earth. Seeing this web of light that is activating, that is growing, that is spreading all across this planet. And even though there is cruelty, and even though there is fear, and even though there is confusion, and resistance to change, there is light and there is love. And I send my love and I send my light. So I have a song that I wrote a long time ago that I'd love to share with you right now. What I do today affects the next seven generations. Please show me how to live so I am true to the best intentions. Seven, seven generations. We are building from our choices of today, holding, holding true our best intentions that we may. We may walk the beauty way. What I do today affects the next 
seven generations. Please show me how to live so I am true to the best intentions. Seven, seven generations. We are building with the choices that we make. Holding, holding true our best intentions. That we may, we may walk the beauty way. What I do today affects the next seven generations. Please show me how to live so I am true to the best intentions. Seven, seven generations. We are building from the choices that we make, holding, holding true our best intentions, that we may, we may walk the beauty way. From my heart to yours, I am sending you love. I stand with Standing Rock, and I send my roots down. I breathe in light to my heart, and I send it back out to Standing Rock. I am the calm in the eye of the storm. And I send this energy back out. We are the calm in the eye of the storm. We are the doulas and the midwives who are birthing this new world and this new time. It is our job, it is our time to hold the space of calmness, to speak our truth, to stand for what matters, and to hold love in our heart. I send my roots down. I stand with Standing Rock, and I send my roots down. I breathe in love, and I breathe it back out around me. To all of you who have commented, to all of you who have watched, thank you so much for joining me. Kristen, I'm so glad that this was good for you. And in addition to doing the light work, in addition to acting as surrogates, we can be the calm in the eye of the storm, especially when we're not at Standing Rock. We have the convenience and the benefit of the safety of a safe, grounded place. So we can do this work. We can ground ourselves. We can focus. We can tune into the people that we know who are at Standing Rock if we have friends there, which I do. And so tuning in specifically to the people that you know there and thinking of them, linking up with them, and then acting as a surrogate for that calmness what we can do is we can, we can entrain the vibration of peace. We can entrain the vibration of calmness. We can, re we can create a ripple of calmness, and we can offer this up. And in addition to this, there are other things that you can do, aside from just seeing the atrocities and feeling sad about them. There are things you can do today 
there's a list on my Facebook page with phone numbers that you can call, starting with President Obama and, and Vice President um, oh, oh, Biden, <laughs> Vice President Biden, Joe Biden, that we can say this is not acceptable, this needs to stop, and that as American citizens, we do not want to see fellow citizens being treated this way. We can call our congressmen, we can call our senators, we can say that we demand a stop to the Dakota Access Pipeline. And we can also call the local numbers and in, in for the Dakota Access Pipeline, all of these numbers I've listed on my page so that you can take action, you can speak out, you can declare your voice, you can also go and sign the petitions that are saying that you do not want this happening, as well as you can donate money to people who are headed out there. You can contribute to their gas and their tolls, assuming you know who they are and you're confident that they're people that you, you know that you want to send money to. And you can also send money as well as medical supplies to the medic and healer camp and council so that they can keep helping the people who are on the front lines, the water protectors who are out there protecting our land, protecting our water, and saying, no, the buck is stopping here. No, this is our precious earth, and this earth needs to be protected and saved. And so there are options. There are things you can do. Even if you're not going out to, to Standing Rock, you can send love. You can send energy, you can send money, you can send supplies if you have a friend who's going out in a care, is bringing supplies out there, and you can also take action by calling your politicians as well as calling and complaining to the Dakota Access about the Dakota Access Pipeline. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope that on this Black Friday that you are enjoying or having a DIY Friday like I am and you are spending no money today but instead you are spending love and you are and you are using your resources that you have and looking for things that you can do that are valuable and meaning meaningful and nurturing and nourishing to your soul. And um, just keep on keeping on and keep up the good work. And if what I'm saying is resonating for you, then please like my Facebook page, like, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also check out my What's Your Empathic Type quiz on my website, empathicwoman.com. And also, please share my stuff with your friends and family, with the people that you think would resonate with this. I'd be most grateful. So until we meet again, I am wishing you so many blessings, so much peace, and for you and yours and for the next seven generations to come, may we make the right decisions. May we, may we make the choices that will help all of us to thrive.